Morning everyone, we're down here at Exclusive Wraps again doing a front lip this morning. Uh, it is Saturday, so we're not supposed to be in here, but Jeff's given us access to the hoist. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's put it up on the hoist. We're gonna get this front lip installed. Uh, this is actually from Han from the Super Group. So it is a uh, plastic lip, this one. I wasn't keen on a uh, carbon fiber. I was worried I'll hit it once, I'll crack it. It's dead, didn't wanna do that. So this round, we've got a plastic one. We'll whack that one on. Uh, check out fitment and everything. It looks awesome. Uh, it's actually just around this corner here. Um, where can we unwrap this? This one's from Han, from the Super Group, off eBay. It's his own little store. It was about $500 delivered. And it looks pretty cool. I haven't, got it ta I haven't taken it out fully yet, but Jeff, I'll grab that side. Let's check it out. That does look pretty good. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff as well. So Han sends you quite a bit of double-sided tape, uh, a lot of screws, nuts, bolts, bit of everything there. Um, it's already ready, got some uh, 3M on there. And I did notice, can we turn that on its front? There's actually some little holes that we should be able to drill straight into. But uh, this thing's pretty nice. So it is plastic, it does wobble, which is good. Don't want it to crack or anything, but that gloss looks really, really good. Ooh. Let's get it installed, see how it fits, see how it looks. Looks well made. I've just got my drill here. Now, we've actually got some pre-marked spots down here. I'm just going to go through them all and drill all of these out. So we're going to have to remove these two clips because they're in the way. We won't put these ones back in either. We'll just leave those out. We'll put these two back in, they do line up, but we'll just put tons of double-sided tape here and we've we'll got two screws, we might just um, drill them in here. Uh, it's got some self-tapping screws and we'll use some self-tapping screws in the bottom. We'll never see under here, so I'll be happy to do that. I've got some wax and grease remover. We're gonna use quite a bit of double-sided tape on this, so I'll go ahead and I'll wipe all under here. especially this spot just here where it makes that little triangle. And I'll just wipe down here as well on the actual spoiler, make sure it sticks nicely. quite a bit of double-sided tape in the package and I'm going to whack them just in here that is thick <laughs> that's what she's <laughs> Jeff's got a mic on so we did hear that Oh look, it says Hans. Hans Autotech. Hey. Hans. <laughs> Jeff's got the 10 mil, I might steal. Just gonna heat gun this because double-sided tape heated up gets super sticky. Just when you don't know how old the tape is, heating it up can, can certainly help. 
should be it. Start off from the edges, Asia. Yep. All right. I'm going to push mine up, Jeff. How's yours look? It's good. It's good. I'm going to start pushing up. in there. Don't go as far up as I did. Otherwise you'll see a little bit of tape. Ah, oh, same with over here. Not exactly happy being able to see the double-sided tape. I don't think it actually needs it. Jeff's done his side already. Jeff's side looks really good. So let's get rid of that double-sided tape. It's actually not insanely sticky anyway. So you can see it coming off pretty easily. I'm just gonna peel that off completely. I'm gonna leave the double-sided tape that was there. That's all gone now. It looks so much cleaner, doesn't it? There is a little gap on this side. So fitment's almost there, not quite but it's the same on the other side, so it is symmetrical. The ones in the packet, they're just Phillips heads. Um, we'll go and put these, we'll put these in the, in the front two holes. We'll just drill them into the bumper. This is going into the, uh, the two previously drilled holes. That's not coming out. There's quite a few screws in the packets we get from Han. There's heaps and heaps. Uh, we're only using four of the small ones. Feels rock solid. That's what I think. I don't think that's going anywhere. I reckon I'd probably add it for like 50. Not even. No. We added like literally one and a half. Yeah, two, 20. 20 mils? That's 10 mil there. That's, yeah, about 50 mil. So about 50, 50 mils in the front and about 20 mils on the side. Overall, pretty easy install, uh, especially if there's two of you there. Probably no more than 20 minutes to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Don't add all the extra double-sided tape that we added. Um, it's worth putting it on these, uh, but not around that, not around that groove there. It looks pretty mean. The front lip is on. It was really easy to put on, I'd say if you were doing it and not making a video, 20 minutes, super easy. Uh, what do you reckon, Jeff? I think it looks really aggressive. Aggressive? Yeah. It didn't. Um, I think the fitment was okay. Um, it wasn't too perfect. You can probably see on the edges, it sticks out a little bit. Um, but otherwise, it's not too bad. It sticks out pretty far in front of the car, this ways, but it does definitely make the car look a bit more aggressive. Do you think it's worth being 13 centimetres off the ground? Would you be happy? I don't, I don't think 13 centimetres is too... It is about the same height as that off the ground as the Ferrari behind us. So um, can't complain too much. It does stick out about 60 centimetres. But I think for 500 bucks, can't go... Can't complain. It is a plastic one. I didn't want to get carbon fibre. I don't uh, want to crack any carbon fibre lips. So thanks, okay. Jeff. It was fun. It was actually, yeah. and it was only 20 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah.
Yeah, it's nice and easy. You getting a Supra? No, no I'm getting <laughs> a Supra. <laughs> Alrighty. All right, guys, thank you. We will catch you again on the next video. Looks pretty damn cool. If you actually come in real close, Joe, you can see these cuts are so perfect. We're not really supposed to see the car yet because there'll be bubbles and things underneath it. You can see they've done these pillars here. All the cuts are so perfect. They look so good. <laughs> Again, guys, we really shouldn't be seeing the car yet. Uh, Jeff's just let us in here. Generally speaking, they'll want the car to be a bit more dry. A little bit more dry. They have a chance to go over it, do their QC. They haven't done any of that yet. This is just the raw in the middle of getting the, the job done. So you can actually see there's a lot of water under here, but obviously I'm not supposed to see that yet. Um, but it is cool to see how when I pick it up, I know that'll be gone. Um, but you can see these edges, they're so perfect. I think they wrap my lights. Look at this, Joel. Look, they wrap the lip. <laughs> That's so cool. They wrap the lip. I wasn't expecting the lip to be wrapped. Have a look at this. Look, they got right in there. That is really cool. I wasn't expecting this to be done. And if you actually look real carefully, they've, uh, you can see they've actually wrapped the inside in around that. That's a separate piece. So that's really cool. It's really cool because no one's spoken to me. They're not open today. The guy wrapping it's not here. Uh, but I'm walking around, I'm like, did they wrap that? Has this been wrapped? I can't even tell half the time. And it is cool because you see little things that I didn't expect to be wrapped and they've wrapped it. So that's really, really cool. Man, I don't know how they do these edges so well. These edges are insane. It's like a, a computer did it. <laughs> Look at this. Wrapped. <laughs> this is all wrapped. Look, even the mat's wrapped. That's wrapped. What? <laughs> what? This is all wrapped. Nick, uh, Nick's the guy that, that wrapped my car. He works here at Exclusive Wraps. Uh, Nick, I wanted to actually say thank you, man. I cannot believe all these things that you've wrapped, man. All these little extra bits. I knew you'd wrap the, the gloss on here. I wasn't expecting the mat half to be wrapped because I know that would probably struggle to stick a little bit. Nick, you've done an awesome job, man. This looks unreal. Just walking around, seeing all these little surprises, man. Like, yes, Nick, you're the man.